Yo. So if you've ever seen a player uh, just maneuver around a large arena, thousands of enemies, and they're not really getting hit, they're not dying, you don't really understand why, uh, hopefully this video can shed some light on some of the things that I try to keep in mind when I'm in a room with a large amount of enemies like this. So I don't really know much about this map, so this will be a good amount of improv. Okay, Spider Mastermind, instant problem right there. Uh, hopefully it can hit some of these pigs. And I'm gonna stay pacifist too, since I saw a gigantic horde of imps. I don't want them to come in. Now here's a good example. So right now, if I step forward, I will die because all these guys are still moving towards me. Uh, this is where uh, keeping in mind your position and how it controls the monster's AI, you know, they always try to go towards you if they know where you are. So if I step forward, they're all going to keep going in this direction and everything behind me is going to be blocked off. So I got to not do that. I need to now turn around and find somewhere else to go. Um, so that was a bad move, for example. I should have gone to the left right here. Now if I go in this direction, so now I got space. Now over there, I see Manx. If I go in that direction, these guys are just going to spray down the arena. But I also got a ton of pigs next to me. I don't really want to shoot quite yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go check out over there and see if I can get around the Manx. See if I can get behind them. Probably not, because this is Sunder. Uh, yeah, look at that gigantic horde of Manx. I don't want to be anywhere near there. And I turn around. Now, I do want to come back. I don't want to backpedal just pressing S after I see that. I want to turn around and see exactly where I'm going. So I turned around and I saw I got rev missiles. I got mag fireballs shooting from that direction, actually. Um, so I watched out for those, try to control my movement instead of Wing into them. Um, but yeah, now looking in that direction, I see a bunch of those imps are awake. Those pigs are uh, those pigs are kind of spaced out, so I can make my way around them. But overall, the best move right now is to go in this direction. And yeah, still still plenty of space it seems. Can still make it around. And yeah, we're still okay. And now at this point, I've got, I feel like I have a lot of control over this situation. Um, except for the fact that right now I'm about to go to that wall and I'm going to have to turn around. I don't feel like, uh, maybe, yeah, I can, I can go through, um, go in circle strafe around there, but let's not do that since that's very simple. I want to show one more thing. Um, and that's right here. So I'm about to turn around. How do I turn around? Well, I don't know what that involved is. I don't think I want to get that quite yet. <clears throat> I screwed up my movement by, by pausing, but um, you do see those. I turn around, I do see those rev missiles. I want to react to them real quick as I'm turning around to do those, those, fine, those fine adjustments to try to avoid that damage and avoid those mank fireballs, all of that when I'm circling around here. So I made a big circle and now back this way uh, I got plenty of space around here with the pigs and at this point I've kind of taken control now there's a lot of imps now it's about time to really start defending myself I saw more space on on the left there okay I got this cyber demon the cyber demon is a real tough situation um, I gotta try to keep I wanted to try to keep a wall of pigs between me and him there so uh, I decided to push exactly to the right of myself and try to just have those meat shields and at this point this gigantic fight oh wow in damn in fighting rockets <laughs> save for the in fighting rockets pretty much in control not really gonna die here so hopefully that helps a little bit uh, a few things to take into consideration when you're dealing with these gigantic hordes of enemies time to push through very similar situation so I learned now I need to really stop putting myself in that position so I'm gonna try to instead maybe go this way and there it was once again I was turning around and watching the rockets now uh, every time I go over there I'm like almost stuck with imps 
So how do I get around those imps without having, uh, without having that same problem? I want to stay on this side of the arena for as long as possible. And because I got projectiles coming at me, I got to move a little bit slow. But I've also got rev missiles, so I can't go too slow. So uh, I'm going to just try to slow down the movement just a little bit here on the way around. Pulling the imps out of the way. And hopefully, yep, sure enough, the imps are gone, but I have... <laughs> I have a bigger problem with these Hell Knights, so that's okay. But at least we tried, and yeah, so pretty much I'm mostly blind to this map. I don't really know this map at all, so um, hopefully that shows. All right, so here is a shining example. Gigantic horde of monsters uh, working the space, trying not to try not to get stuck or anything. Uh, it's going to be a little bit different from the Sunder example because what we got here is we got a ridiculous amount of cacos, a bunch of arachnatrons here, manx here, revs, spam. So what do we do? Well, uh, one of the things tends to happen with a lot of these fights, same uh, micro slaughter map 14 is a great example of this too. Um, gotta go for the manx first. So I wouldn't expect you to think of that on your first time playing, um, but of course your first time playing is probably, you're probably gonna try to like hurt these cacos and then soon enough you'll realize that's just really futile there's just so much going on that you can't really accomplish very much so uh, eventually uh, I'm going to do this uh, this attack on the mancubi I don't I wouldn't expect somebody to come up with that blind for sure because it's just something I had to do from learning the fight. Don't think about the Iraq and Trons me attacking them uh, too much, just to force a habit. Um, but one of the things that it does is it actually pulls these Mancubi just a little bit far out. So the idea is I want to push behind these Mancubi, and now I'm thinking about the monster AI. So all these Mancs saw me, um, and if I want to get behind them, a really good way of doing that is to pull them out just a little bit. Have them see me uh, like a while before I try to go in. So I lost all my health. I wonder if I can save. Oh, no. <laughs> all right, here here's here goes the actual uh, attempt at it. So I'm gonna go hit the Arachtrons. Um This is just kind of passing time as I pull the Manx out of there for a little bit, and then I'm gonna go all in for the Manx. Try to go clock um, counterclockwise on them, because uh, fighting a horde of manks is hard enough. Hopefully, going counterclockwise, you'll be dodging their first projectiles left, and you'll be good. So, and then now I'm using the last few BFG shots to push through imps. So I gotta save a little bit since I know that there's gonna be a ton of imps, and I gotta get around here. I gotta save some here. You can definitely apply this to 20xe6 um, uh, map seven, for example, where you're camping those. That, that finale, you're, you're camping the arch vials and revs, you gotta save a shot for the imps as you're pushing out, so um, that's that. So now at this point, what I got is I got this ridiculous, ridiculous looking uh, horde of cacos. Best caco horde I've seen. Sunder map 19 comes close, but anyway. So I got all these cackles and I got all these Hell Knights. So obviously I can't stay here forever. Ammo is limited, health is limited. I'm gonna need to refuel on some stuff. So what do I do? Well, we grab some damn health is what we do. <laughs> um, but I'm going to try to stay here for as long as possible. So to think about this arena, it's this big U shape and I got all these monsters. If I want them all to be in a position where I can run around them, I gotta stay as far to the right of this room as I can, so the left side will get clear at some point and I can push around. So I gotta stay to the right of this position, and I gotta stay over here for as long as I can, fight from this position as long as I can, until I can create an opening around the arena. I'm gonna keep trying to dodge at least my best. <laughs> There's a lot to dodge. There's a lot of pressure on you here, especially if you get to this corner with low health, but... Um, yeah, I'm gonna stay here for as long as I can. Alright, 
So at this point, honestly, I would probably push around, but if you got more health, definitely stay longer because now I'm deciding to push around because uh, I don't really have the health to survive here much longer. One cackle projectile can and will kill me because max damage. So I would go ahead and pull, push around. Uh, might not work, just one of those things. You're not gonna be 100% first try on every fight, of course, but um, that's kind of my thought process there. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to push around a little bit, hit these guys a little bit, why not? And sure enough, Megasphere was open and I can still continue on with the fight. So a lot of Arachatrons here. I need to not try to push through them right now because if I get back there, there's gonna be just an overwhelming amount of revs. And once again, just like the pig example right at the start of this video, they're all just gonna block me and I'm gonna have some trouble. So especially in a fight like this with limited health, it's gonna be like that. Now another thing uh, you might see a lot of really good players doing is they're gonna like shooting BFG, like watch this. Boom, turn, boom, and turn. Now um, I'm trying to get, first of all, the most value out of my tracers. And the next thing is I gotta really watch where I'm going. Because it's actually very easy to wander into a position like that. Like that, Kako was out to the side. He could easily have gotten like a free 60 damage bite on me if I didn't turn to take a look at him in between BFG shots. You gotta take that time that the BFG is charging and um, take that moment to look at what you're, where exactly you're going. All right, now here, do you see how big the gap was? I saw that the gap was huge. And uh, you probably wouldn't guess this on a blind run, but from having experience on the fight, I know that I can push to that far corner where the N in new game is. I can probably push to that far corner, wait there for just a second to open up this lane one more time. So right now, okay, right now this lane is blocked, you see? So how are we gonna open up that lane? I'm gonna go into this corner, chill for a little bit, and then push around full speed. And watching that I don't push too far forward and get stuck. i taking a look where I'm going. And that's how it's done. Oh no. Try to do a 360 BFG. There it is. <laughs> Alright. So hopefully that makes sense. And then um, you're going to try to stay here for as long as possible. One more last thing. So let's say uh, I go and try to run around here. If this uh, horde was bigger notice how they're actually getting just a little bit closer to this edge so the first so right before um the last time i was at this uh, little river they were closer to the platform that's forward now you can't even see that platform they actually are closer to me now so let's do one more time watch where they're gonna be now they're like even closer so that's why um, for this cleanup, I'm gonna go all the way back here. Try to pull the enemy AI towards this direction. That way, when I push around, um, chill here for just a little bit. And when I push around, look how big this lane is about to be. Uh, not much bigger than it was, but <laughs> it would probably make a much bigger difference if the horde was still bigger. But yeah, hopefully a lot of that makes sense. All right, time to spice it up. So let's see if we can apply what we've learned now. Um, so this first part here, I stayed in the center for a long time. That way I could pull all the cacos over here. Um, not a move you need to think too much about, just kind of the way I play this fight. Uh, but what's more important is how am I going to handle all the stuff surrounding me? while I'm doing this puzzle. So, um, for this, I have this strategy to just take that soul sphere before I press the third switch. Um, but the biggest thing to learn from this is that when, as the fight progresses, I'm gonna be pulling stuff towards the center. That soul sphere is most likely gonna be unreachable later. And this, is, uh, and this is something I got in my mind because staying in the center pressing on these switches is going to pull enemies from all the way to the edges to the center. They're going to start blocking those positions. So I got to get that health now while I still have a chance. So um, that's my reasoning behind that. I should have also had tracers going before I went around that corner to the Hell Knights. Um, 
But yeah, so all four switches are pressed now. And I also, oh, I messed up the puzzle a little bit. <laughs> oh well, just one arch file came out. So I got ammo, and I'm going to start working stuff down. Now I have just a little bit of downtime, because uh, that timer. And next thing is to go ahead and be ready for when the time turns 10. That's how I do this fight. Um, but yeah, so I wanted to clear out a lot of the center. So clearing out the center there just a little bit uh, helps to prevent getting blocked while I do the puzzle for the last time. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, that was a lot of damage from those manks. Staying at a distance from manks really helps, but you know. I didn't get to press that switch, but it's not a big deal. Alright, so now we got a uh, big horde. So this is kind of where more of those skills from earlier will take place. So I'm making this big U shape, and I'm constantly having to turn around and see what am I about to walk into. Um, but yeah, now I was able to do that for just a little bit. Now the next phase of the fight is about to start, and I'm honestly just going <laughs> to... What a save. But um, the next phase is starting up. I need to go and find the Megasphere, so I see it's over there. In fighting rocket almost got me there. Okay. Now I'm in this position, so I can't stay here forever. Projectiles will come up. Everybody will get pulled towards me. Um, but one of the things that's going to happen while I'm here is enemies are about to come to my right. So if I try to turn this corner to the right and go to this wing that's going to be to the right, there's going to be a lot of enemies most likely. So let's take a look. Sure enough. Yep. And I'm going to go right here. And I'm just kind of spamming this place down. We've also got a bit of a chain gunner situation. I always really dislike when chain gunners are used in big hordes like this, in big uh, arenas like this, but it's okay. We can forgive Rubix for this. Um, and now, all these cybers. So, right now, um, the last thing that I need to do is I need to go to the last Megasphere and I need to find myself a safe corner and the fight is won. Now the way this works is I'm going to stay in this position for as long as I can to pull a lot of enemies towards this side of the arena and create for myself a clear way on the opposite side. So I'm going to chill here for as long as I can. Every time I turn around, I got to see what am I walking into. So I see rockets there, rockets there, boom, boom. All right, now eventually this is becoming too much to dodge. I need to get the hell out of here. So I'm about to move. Hopefully not get stuck like the D2 all does. That was kind of lucky with that cyber, but ow. Okay, homie. Damn, infighting rockets. <laughs> all right, but yeah. So at this point, the fight is pretty much won. I would start um, just kind of spamming rockets. And if I didn't get hit by the infighting rocket, health situation would be a lot better. Right now I gotta improvise a little bit. I'd probably go find myself. Yep. Ah, <laughs> oh, jeez. Moral of the story: Don't get hit by infighting rockets when you go for that mega. And all gigantic hordes of enemies lead back to Dimensions Map One. This is what we've been building up to. And uh, so this fight has an invuln and what the invuln is actually going to do, it's going to serve to help you find that point, right? So far it's been like stay in one position to try to pull enemies in a certain direction. With the invuln, we're working these revs down to make space in and of itself, but we're also in the meantime pulling cackles out of their place. Not to mention we get our chance to get rid of a couple of cybers before it runs out. But yeah, at this point, so uh, this is the hardest part of the map probably if you're just trying to get an exit. Um, but yeah, so if you can like push through there then you're already in pretty good shape. Um, 
and then there was another like big horde of revs, but there was a little bit of an opening in the backside there. You got to push through. So so far, a lot of these examples have had these wide open um, pathways to to get around and uh, get to a good position. But this is a good example where you had to create one for yourself um, using those same building upon those same principles. All right, so these cacos are uh, all out here. So I want these cacos out of my way. Uh, you can try to BFG through them, but I'm not going to. I'm going to take the uh, use the principles we were talking about from before and probably die to an infighting rocket. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> but um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sit over here for just a little bit, right? So now I want to take it easy. I want to hit these pain elementals just a little bit. I'm going to slow down my movement. I'm not trying to go full speed to that side because I'm trying to pull cackles over. And that's why a lot of times you probably see um, guys doing these big slaughter maps. They have this slow movement. And holy crap, this arch vial. <laughs> Jeez. All right. Um, hopefully that makes sense. Hopefully I've... Uh, made a good point with that and um, hopefully after you see uh, some some runs of this map you might see like the casual runs kind of at the end you're figurating the revs um, see if you can uh, understand exactly why that works and exactly what that does to all the enemies in this map um, whenever you do play it so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you're uh, able to apply these principles. And if you have questions, hit me up. Uh, this might as well be how to make space part two, to be honest with you. But anyways, until next time, peace.